Okay, so I love lilacs. Uh, if you've ever been to Mackinac Island in Michigan, mm -hmm. the UP, it's uh, a wonderful combination of the smell of horses, lilacs, and fudge. <laughs> I love that place. <laughs> wow. Uh, but the, when, in, in May, the lilacs are out everywhere. And if you have lilacs, you know that they are a fabulous spring shrub. But the only problem with lilacs is, usually when it's getting to be the middle of June, there's no more flowers. I, I just have a green shrub. No more fabulous fragrance. No more pretty lilac purple and white and pink. Well, we have solved your problem because we are bringing you a re-blooming fragrant lilac plant and you're going to choose pink purple or white i will tell you white is the most limited right off the bat and these are brand brand new you have been waiting and asking for a reblooming lilac because nobody wants their spring flowers to only be around for a month no especially you know it's been so warm here lilacs could be susceptible to when it gets warm and then we get a late yeah cold then your flowers are gone mm -hmm. and so that's why we have chosen these because they are that rare re bloomer mm -hmm. but the other thing that you want and you tell us is you want smaller lilac plants too mm -hmm. because some of them can i mean they're great and if you have the space to have a nine well, some foot of them tall take one. A, they're as big as the the second floor window yeah. in your house <laughs> yes. i mean i, I have Too one much. like that in the corner of my garage that's not going to go in a pot, but these can. These can go in pots, so they stay really compact. So I have two of these right near my lavender, actually. So it is Ooh, the most fragrant corner that. of my yard. Yeah. But because I have the purple, I don't have a pink or a white, mm -hmm. so I need to get some of those. But I have the, the traditional lilac color, and it does. It puts out the biggest burst of blooms. I mean, it is covered in June. Now, where I live, for everybody, it will be a little different in the timing, but covered in flowers, and they are still the same size as your traditional lilac flower. So the flowers are not many. It's just the plant is a little bit more compact. It's going to be about 60 inches by 60 inches. Mm -hmm. So now you can put your lilacs in pots if you want to. And 60 inches, what's that five feet? Yeah. Okay. So these are not going to go up over your windows no. if you want to do, do them as a foundation plant. But look at this Ooh, big baby you're getting. Nice. What a big baby you are. <laughs> so I want you to see on this big baby, there's oh, already yes. some little bloomers happening in there. Can you see the little flowers that are already starting? And you're gonna pop this in the ground. All you have to dig is a hole, a little bit bigger than this pot, and watch it go to town. Um, oh my goodness, okay, white, only 600 left. It's hard to find a white lilac. It is really hard to find. And yeah. actually, pink is really hard to find, too. Mm -hmm. And so I wonder, maybe if some of you already have lilacs at home, you might have that purple color. Mm -hmm. um, you might want to put the purple right in front of it, or you want to get a different one. Yeah. People might not even know if they're avid gardeners that come over. They see that white lilac. They say, mm -hmm. I don't even know what, what is it that. It almost looks like a hydrangea. It does look like a hydrangea mm -hmm. until you smell it. And that's the difference. Yeah. I have not seen oh a gosh. scented hydrangea. Lilacs oh, smell so, so good. good. I mean, when you walk past the corner of where my big lilac shrub is, it's along the uh, front walkway going to the front porch. You go from the driveway past that shrub up to my front door and it's just like knockout. Yes, and it's like, wait, you kind of slow your pace. Yeah, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tread water here by this lilac <laughs> plant for a while because it smells so amazing. It really does. <laughs> but what's sad, it's not a rebloomer. Right. So after oh. a while, there's like one or two of these left. And I'm like, oh, wait, I, I don't, wait a minute, you're the last one. I'm not going to see another one of these till next spring. But that's not the case with these. Now, when will they rebloom, Katie? So they do a little bit of reblooming throughout the season and then a bigger one in the fall. Okay. So that's when they'll give you a couple flowers throughout the, throughout the summer. So you'll see it. And then that big, again a big flush in the fall so big spring big fall and the flowers here and yep. there in between which yep. is awesome uh, and you get the fragrance bonus uh, 900 ordered about th fewer than 300 in the white white is hard to find and pink too pink there's only 800 yep. left and then we have the purple as well which is a little more common but let me tell you something if you have purple lilacs they are not these no they're not so and i'm gonna do this katie oh great because yes. i think your idea of lavender with your lilacs yep. is a fab idea. Because the lilacs love full sun too, mm -hmm. so that's the, yeah. the, they need the general care. Oh, pretty. And these get to be about 24 inches tall. Mm -hmm. The lavender we had earlier, these will get to be about five feet tall. So it, this this is probably the end of your second or beginning of your third year here. Okay. Um, and mine are just right now, they I got buds on them and I cannot wait for them to start blooming because I know I have so many flowers that are the ability to cut them and also bring them indoors, which you wouldn't want 
want to do on just your June bloomer. So we've got our re-blooming lilac that is now going to work for you in containers or in the ground because it is more compact than probably you have seen in a lilac shrub. This is the don't dilly dally sway uh -oh. on the white <laughs> because these are about to sell out. If you want the white, you need to put them in your cart right now and don't forget to check out of your cart. Um, any special area I should plant these? Do they like sun, shade? They do like between? full sun. Okay. They're a full sun plant. Um, the pollinators will love these, so that's always one of. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. Bye bye, white. All right, let me trudge over here with the, That is a big pot. It is a big pot. All right, pot. so the white is gone. Uh, this is what's left. And I interrupted your thought, Katie. Tell me um, what you were going to that say about. That pollinators love these as well. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that you're looking to support your pollinators in early spring when mm -hmm. these start to bloom. But because you'll get the flowers throughout the year, which is why I love them with the lavender. Yeah. We have the monarch essential coming up later in the show. Or maybe you picked up our butterfly bush that, that we had a couple weeks ago. We had a great four-piece butterfly bush. This would work great there as well. You're creating a fragrant garden right now. You're creating a pollinator haven for this and it's all super easy they all like full sun and they're all such How pretty low is that I love that little pop of orange in there yeah it's gorgeous okay 2,000 of these ordered we have 1,200 purple 500 pink we're very busy on the phones okay because everybody wants lilacs to last longer than they a do. month yes so uh, if you uh, can please put these in your cart on your app or go to .com, put them in your cart. Don't forget to check out. We're busy on the lines. Um, just get whatever color we have left because these are going to bloom in the spring. They're going to bloom off and on over the summer and then big bloom again in the fall. That's right. Can you imagine lilacs in the fall? No, I know. Wow. And the other thing, if you have grown lilacs or even if you haven't, some of the older varieties get get a lot of disease. They get mildew and other diseases. Yeah. And so these are super, high uh, super disease resistant. Mm -hmm. So really, the thing that they love is some fertilizer and they like to be watered. So that's the care here. You are getting a huge payout in that lilac fragrance with very little care. Okay, so again, you are getting one. So if you want more than one, get as many as you want, put as many as you want in your cart. The white has sold out. If you want the pink, there's 400 left and 900 purple, and then they're totally gone. Yeah. And you know, I don't have a definite only order of the season story, but it's pretty much only order of <laughs> yes, the season. Exactly. Can I we just can't say, it, yeah. um, you know, so we, we have an all new show for you today and most of the stuff is not coming back. So please get whatever you see that you want, including reblooming lilac alert, you know, and <laughs> I also heard there's now reblooming azaleas, yes. which, oh, I mean, all those spring flowers, if you can get them in a reblooming form, yeah. why wouldn't why, you? Exactly. So, all right, stay in the ordering process for those. Now, we have these 